Hello and welcome once again to my backyard. Today I'm doing something completely different from what I usually do. We're making some cookies and this is a no-bake cookie uh, rum balls. I think you'll like this. I hope you'll stick with me and watch this. Anyway, the first thing we got to do is put together the dry ingredients. This is uh, two and a half cups of vanilla wafers that I've ground up in my food processor. And to that we're going to add a cup of ground up pecans that I ground up in my food processor. My food processor isn't big enough to do all this inside of it. No barking. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, that dog's gonna drive me nuts. Anyway, yeah, that's uh, vanilla wafers and pecans. Then we've got a cup of uh, powdered sugar to go in there. Cup of powdered sugar. I'm gonna mix that up in there with my bacon spatula. Hope you can see that. Dog! Please be quiet. Okay, I've asked her to be quiet now. If she's going to keep on, we're going to have to get after her. Got to break up that powdered sugar and stir that in. I've got to, I've got to put two tablespoons of cocoa powder in there. Baking cocoa. Two tablespoons of cocoa. One, two, that's the chocolate component of my rum balls. We're making rum balls. Did I mention that? I don't know. Maybe not. Anyway, because I don't have a big enough food processor, I'm going to have to mix this all up by hand. And now once I get the dry ingredients mixed together, which they're coming together pretty nicely, looking pretty good so far. Okay. Let's, uh, let's set that aside and get the wet ingredients going. Stay tuned. Okay, we're going to put together the wet ingredients of this. We've got uh, some corn syrup, Cairo corn syrup. We need three tablespoons of this. One, you know I hate measuring stuff. Two, all right, that's three. Three tablespoons of caro corn syrup. Then we need, what else? Oh, two tablespoons of water, which I have right here. Two tablespoons of water. One, two, water. I also might drink that. We have a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Good stuff. Vanilla extract. In there. And to round out our wet ingredients, we have some rum. Now, I'm using this uh, rum that I have on hand, Caribbean rum. All the recipes say to use a good kind of rum, a good quality rum like uh, Bacardi or whatever. I thought I'm going to use what I have on hand. This is a half a cup of rum. We might have to add more rum later on. And because the rum, the alcohol hasn't been cooked out of the rum, these cookies are going to have uh, rum in them. So they're uh, alcoholic cookies. You don't want your kids to eat them. The kids probably won't like them. To be honest with you, my kids won't like them. My grandchildren will not eat this. They might taste them, but they're not, once they, they're not going to follow through with that rum. Anyway, what I got to do now is combine the wet and dry ingredients in this bowl and then I'm going to have to mix this all together by hand to get uh, a certain consistency of rum balls. And if I had a food processor that could fit all this, I would certainly use it, but I don't. But I'm going to have to fit, uh, mix this all by hand and if it's not wet enough, which it doesn't look like it's going to be, I'll have to add more rum. So uh, stay tuned, I'll bring you back when I get that done. Okay, my mixture was actually a little too wet, but I, I had to add more cookie crumbs to it, but I got it where I want it now. It's like a sticky mess. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. I'm going to take my balling thing and, and get it into balls like this and roll that out onto a plate. Not onto a plate, but onto a parchment paper. You're supposed to be able to roll these with your hands, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I'm going to roll them out with like this. Yeah, with that thing. I'm supposed to make 20 of these. Anyway, I got to roll those still with my hands, but I'm really not looking forward to it. Anyway, let me get about as many of them as I can out of this mixture. 
rolled out and I'm gonna have to roll it with my hands at one point I don't want to show you that <laughs> that's a mess okay let me get let me see how many I got now I got uh, that's not enough I need more anyway that's eight of them right there portioned out I, I think this recipe makes about 20 of these but anyway I think it looks like I'm gonna get in total maybe about 15 realistically that's what they're supposed to look like right there yeah let me get some more of them made up then we're gonna get them rolled out and then we're gonna dress them up in uh, some uh, sprinkles but I gotta roll them with my hands and I really don't want you to watch that <laughs> anyway let me get these uh, rolled out onto the parchment paper and then we'll roll them in sprinkles so stay tuned Okay, so I got my rum balls rolled into balls, and what we're going to do now is dress them up. I put them in the, in the uh, refrigerator for a while to, to firm them up a bit so that they wouldn't stick so bad. They're very sticky. And we're going to drop them in some uh, rainbow sprinkles. This one is going to be a rainbow sprinkle one. Get that coated up in rainbow sprinkles. We'll set that aside. Now I'm going to take the next one. I think we're going to put it in some chocolate sprinkles and so on and so forth until I get them all done. Chocolate sprinkles, you could also cover them in uh, powdered sugar or cocoa powder. The ones that are covered in cocoa powder look like truffles when you're done. Anyway, there's a chocolate one. Let's do another rainbow one, I guess. Let me get them all done and I'll get them on a plate and uh, make them look like something. We're not gonna drink a beer or drink any rum. I will eat a rum ball anyway. I think I'm gonna save out a, a big old chocolate one for myself. The uh, rainbow ones look really festive. The chocolate ones don't look too bad. Anyway, yeah, we're almost done with this video. So <laughs> it's kind of a hassle. It's kind of a, a messy proposition. But in the end, I think it's worth it to have some nice rum balls. Stay tuned for the uh, tasting. My rum balls are done. Here they are. Aren't they beautiful? We got to take a taste of one. I think I want a chocolate one to start with. Oh yeah, look at that. Mmm. Oh man. That is like ooey gooey goodness. Let me tell you what. Oh yeah. That's some sticky stuff right there. Anyway, I'm not going to take a swig of rum because my doctor watches these videos and I don't want him to see that. <laughs> anyway, babies, that's my video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this departure from the usual meat, fire, and beer. Let me know in the comments if you did or didn't like it. And I'll come back next week we may not cook anything good. <laughs> These are good. But uh, we will drink a beer. We got one more beer from Tango Joe to drink. Next week, I promise we'll be drinking beer. So anyway, babies, that's my video. See you next week. Bye.